that. And there we are. Hello. Welcome. Hopefully lots more people will be joining us. We've got some fantastic live performances uh, for you. Um, and it's all very exciting, all very new. I'm sure you'll agree. Most of the time, these events are done uh, where we wander around and talk to people and explain the arts and watch live performances. Uh, but things have changed, as I'm sure you know. But rather than not do those things, we have to adapt to those things. And that's what we're doing uh, with this. It's very exciting. So there may be a few hiccups along the way, but I'm sure we can get through uh, the next couple of hours and have a brilliant time, a real relaxing wonderful afternoon of some fantastic contemporary and uh, very entertaining performances we have for you. I've, I've, just before we went live, I did have a listen to some of the music that's coming up and uh, it's going to be absolutely brilliant. So I'm looking forward to everybody joining us. Do say hello to us in the uh, chat box. It's your chat box to get involved in. You can tell us uh, where you are, what you're doing, what you're enjoying this afternoon. Also, uh, we have some Q&As throughout the day as well. So we've got some Q&As for you to get involved with. Um, to ask questions to our, our artists and hopefully learn something or you could just sit back relax and enjoy the entertainment that we have for you for the next couple of hours it's going to be very exciting very new to me normally I do these things on a big stage in front of people and here I am in my my house in my um, my study uh, with you guys but um, lots of you are going to join us so hopefully we'll have a nice warm welcome uh, Tracy has uh, oh Trace sorry Trace Bradshaw uh, to all the panellists, hi, I'm watching from New Zealand uh, and can't wait to see the show. Wow, New Zealand. I'm guessing, I could be wrong, but is it a bit, I'm sure it's a bit warmer over there. But thank you for joining us all the way from New Zealand. We've got people watching from all over the world. How brilliant is that? And we have a fantastic uh, programme that's been put together uh, for you this afternoon. What's great about this is not only can you watch the arts and be involved but you can also purchase the arts over at the website but i do warn you you've only got till four o'clock on sunday to do that so if there's any art you would like over there um on the website make sure you do that before uh, Sunday at four o'clock otherwise you will miss out and I wouldn't want you to miss out so as I said normally this event would take place um in um in Surrey and it would normally take place in Sandown Park in Esher which I do love it's a lovely place not far from me uh but of course due to the uh the pandemic uh we are going online on this fantastic zoom afternoon for you today it's a contemporary art fairs Surrey autumn live event and of course, don't forget if you're on Instagram at Contemporary Art Fairs, do have a little look on there. Do, if you are taking any photos or screenshots or whatever of the afternoon, do pop them on there as well uh, to get involved and let us know what you're all doing. So we've got some great entertainment for you. Live music, live performances. It's going to be brilliant. We've also got some pre-recorded stuff as well because some of our artists couldn't uh, be here for the event and rather than those artists miss out and you miss out on their performances uh, we've pre-recorded those for you so you'll be able to um, hear those and in some ways we'll add live performances to pre-records uh, what could possibly go wrong we've got lots of uh, things happening I do want to see lots of people joining us as well if you are joining us uh, do a little, have a little look in the chat box because we'd love you to uh, get involved and have a look at uh, uh, right where you're where you are in the world what you're up to what you're looking forward to that's the the most important thing we've got a few minutes before we actually start and as I say any point in the day you can just nip off get a cup of coffee cup of tea maybe something a bit stronger I've got some nice glass of chilled water at the moment but whatever your uh, beverage of choice to have a little drink and join us uh, this afternoon maybe a couple of biscuits um, it's the weekend, we're allowed. And we've got some great performances for you. Let me tell you, we've got some uh, live, uh, a beautiful heart music coming up as well, which is very exciting. Uh, we've, I've just been chatting to Thomas Sherry, who's going to be playing uh, his harp. And the sound is incredible. It really is absolutely wonderful. You'll be able to just close your eyes and almost be there, but you are there. But um, hello, this is fun. Just browsing the art while listening to you. Love the hair. Thanks, Diane. It's uh, it's well wisped, well sprayed. It shouldn't move, but we'll see if it lasts the four hours. Thank you very much for that. My name is Paul Metcalf. It's my absolute pleasure to be uh, your host this afternoon. Uh, for the next four hours so we're going to have lots of fun on the next couple of hours anyway with lots of live performances taking you right up till 
about 4.15, well, about, yeah, about 4.30, um, we'll be with you um, with lots of live entertainment. Yeah, do browse what's going on. So we have got a speech coming up uh, from our director, Joanne Chon. She's going to be joining us uh, very shortly to give us a bit of a, an introduction of what's happening for the day and tell us everything about that. Uh, we've also got the Princess Trust they'll be joining us. We've got some fantastic singers. We've got some fantastic live performances. Uh, I almost don't want to tell you. Well, you've seen some of the pictures uh, of the people that we've got for you. They're all in their own homes um, and they're all ready to perform for you uh, this afternoon and entertain you. What a great way. Just leave the computer on, make sure those speakers are turned at a good, a good volume so you can hear exactly uh, what's going on. But I think looking at the time we're about a minute past i've been waffling on but it's all good that we are joined by uh our director uh joanne john who's here this is very different isn't it this is very different joanne yeah it is yes it's our first virtual fair thank you very much paul hello everyone thanks for joining us this afternoon my name is joanne john and i'm the fair director for contemporary art first we hope you've been enjoying the exhibitions and the artist work so far in these challenging times, perhaps some artwork can bring some colors in your life or into our lives. Right, I'd like to start by thanking the, everyone, my team, the artists, the guests, and everyone involved for all the support and commitment to make this online fair possible. We'll also like to thank the Princess Trust, our long established charity partner. We invite you to support the fantastic work with young people. So please visit that webpage on our website where the artworks is donated by our generous artists and the proceed goes to supporting this great cause. So let's not let me take too much of your time. Today we will see some live art demonstrations from Francis Auckland Snow, Hannah Bruce, Alison Saunders and Frank Pretorius. I hope you enjoy the next few hours and don't forget to visit our website where you can see and purchase the fantastic artwork on display. Enjoy your show and thanks Paul. I'll hand it back to Paul now. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Hi, uh, Paul, I can't hear you. I don't know whether you are. Um, I can't hear you, Paul. Can you hear me now? I can hear you now. Yes. You a few gremlins in the system, but we'll get there in the end. <laughs> Our first guest has popped up already. Brilliant stuff. Uh, Francis Ackland Snow. What a fabulous name. I love that name. Oh, thank you. <laughs> now, um, you are going to be doing, well, tell us a bit about what you're going to be doing uh, for our first performance. So I'm going to be paint. I'm a landscape painter and I paint to music. So I'm very um, honoured to be painting to the har harpist, Thomas. And so I'm going to be painting instinctively to how I feel in response to um, the harp. And um, let's see what happens. And wow. the, um, the painting that I will produce, I mean, this is already, I've painted this, but I will be producing a new painting right from the beginning for half an hour. And the end painting, I'd like to donate to the Prince's Trust to raise money for young people. Um, so, Anybody that's interesting, please let the team know, and um, that would be wonderful. So let's begin, shall we? So you just the music that you hear, and that's it. You just you go with the flow. You just feel the yep. go with the flow. I, I, I paint landscapes, so I would. I'm hoping I'll like have a it, it, the music will evoke an emotion. So I'll, I'll paint to an emotion and, and that's what I'll be painting too. So it's very in the moment, it's very mindful. It's very, I'm doing um, art therapy. So it, it, I'm training to be an art therapist. So this is all part of the journey. So anybody that would like to pick up a paintbrush, please do. I'm working with acrylics, a bit of oil, pastel as well. So please join in. So. <laughs> Brilliant. Well, we need some inspirational music. And that today is provided by an uh, international award-winning harpist who's based in London, uh, Thomas Sherry. Hi, you, Thomas. Hi, thank you. This is incredible. I did hear a little bit of your music earlier, so I'm not going to uh, waffle any longer. I'm going to let the performance speak for itself. So here we go. Francis Acklin Snow and Thomas Sherry with something very special. Thank you. 
Hello, Francis. Can you hear me there? Yes, I can. Hello. I have to bring my camera back. Give me two seconds. I'm, I've got very painterly hands. <laughs> do you want to clean up or do you like your hands? No, no, no. I, I'm fine. I'm, I probably have it on my face as well, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> OK, I'm going to ask if I can just get my camera. But while we're doing that, I'll tell you what, I'm, I have a question. Martin uh, Key, we had so many lovely questions, lovely comments there. Thank you very much to both of you. Um, but oh, here we go, I can just start my video now. There we go, hello. Uh, Martin uh, Key says, what stick were you using? Right at the very start, you were using that, that stick. Can you tell us? It's a, bit? a kebab stick. Okay. <laughs> like, you, guys... you know, I just find stuff that I can make marks okay. in, so yeah, yeah. Okay, so <laughs> A kebab stick. Are there any other instruments? Because I know we've got lots of artists watching. Uh, do you? Yes. Any other? So I have an oil pastel. Right. I have a paintbrush. I have my fingers, yes, and yes. that's and a palette knife. I like the plastic ones actually because you get a really good bounce. I know it sounds weird, but <laughs> you can get you can really bounce into it. Um, so it's really good. I, I really like the plastic um, palette knives. So by hearing that music and you just literally, I mean, Sarah uh, McAllister says, lovely music and looking good, Francis. Fascinating music. It just comes to life. So is that how it works? Do you just literally, the music, and then you just go on that journey? 
Yes, I go on a journey, but I um I love music so much. So thank you so much, Thomas. Oh my mm-hmm. word. I was in a I was in this painting. So I became the painting and, and your music really brought me into a different world. So thank you so much. Really peaceful world which we need at the moment. So what beautiful music. I just want to say that because <laughs> I've never met you before and we've just met literally just now. So um, thank you so much. Beautiful. So talented. Brilliant. Yeah, totally. I, I mirror everything you just said there. Yeah. Also, lots of comments coming through to you, uh, Thomas, as well. Isabel Pierce uh, says, beautiful music, uh, mm-hmm. Thomas. Um, also, Miko uh, Ringer says, uh, beautiful music, but love to see the painting demo. Um, unfortunately, we wanted to see it on a larger screen. It's not something we can do at the moment, but it's maybe something we can look at in the future to see all the detail there um, as well. And Barbara Christie says, I struggle with play, play, playlists excuse me, to listen to when I'm sewing. I think I've been looking in the wrong place. I think she wants to hire you, Thomas, just to <laughs> play along while she's sewing. She might, you might not get that in your living room, but uh, that big harp there. But, uh, that's what uh, Barbara's saying. Um, and Caroline Gilbert says, so beautiful, uh, Francis. Love watching her work and the music is very special. Uh, she just loves the harp. So there you go. Um, so many lovely comments been coming through. Thank you very much. Do keep adding your comments. We love reading them. Um, and Barbara Christie also says, I've been mesmerised watching Thomas. Uh, now I look over at Francis' window and suddenly there's a beautiful picture uh, that's appeared um, there. What a treat, says Marion. She says, uh, I watch both talented people. Great to see her using her hands as well as brushes. So inspirational. Do you use your hands a lot then, Francis? All the time, <laughs> yes. And my nails. Um, I'm really inspired by Turner, and Turner used to paint with his hands as well, actually. They found fingernails in Turner's paintings, actually. <laughs> yeah. So, do, you, do you keep your nails quite trim, or do you like to have them a bit? No, red? I just paint them red or black because they hide the painted marks. But, yeah, that that's the trials and tri- tribulations of being a painter. <laughs> Lovely stuff. Well, Valerie uh, has got a lovely comment here. The harpist is wonderful, but I feel it's not necessary to see him. Oh, Valerie, I think we want to see him as well. Oh, well, each to their own, I suppose. Uh, and they'd like to, and she'd like to see in the picture a bit closer up. That's the thing. We Sorry. Have I mean, Let's have a look. Yeah, try and see. I get- am not a great uh, um, computer person, so hence why I haven't got all the new things to do, uh, you know, with digital work and stuff but that's but if, if you'd like to see it obviously you can buy it for the um money goes to princess trust it's a fantastic <laughs> charity princess trust and we're going to be uh yeah selling that pay to to raise lots of money that's brilliant francis thank you uh, mary's got a question here because there's lots of lovely comments we love your comments but your questions are good it says hi francis uh using oil based or water-based paint what paint are you using there these are water-based they are loxley and also uh, Dela Rowley paints. So um, they're just, yeah, I love, I love that because they quit drying. I'm very, as you can see, very quick painter, prolific. I paint lots and I paint very quickly and in, in tune with music. So Thomas, very, <laughs> very incredibly, I love your music. So I'm really happy that I've been able to play and paint with you inspiring i mean the music's obviously created that work of art so it's we've brought you two together could this be something in the future i think this what do you think thomas Definitely. what do you think thomas? I, I loved looking up and seeing the painting happening and actually interesting i did because uh, i looked at your art before i knew you did landscapes so i tried to think of pieces that were kind of about oh. um, about you know one of them was about autumn one was about a river so kind of things that uh, you know to do with oh the, my word yeah Really? Oh, I didn't realise that. So I did feel like that. I felt like there was a movement. Yeah. yeah. Lovely. And there's actually, if you look at the chat, there is some links so they can see more of uh, Francis's incredible work. Um, I'm trying to read all these comments. Uh, Ronell, I hope I said that right. Such a stunning painting in minutes. Just wow. Music added is a special dimension. Thank you both. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, and... Um, Valerie says, as handsome as he is, I'd rather see what the paint is doing. She meant no offence. We were only kidding, Valerie. We knew you didn't mean any offence. 
Uh, but yeah, no. It's, but as I say, we're trying new things out here. Maybe next time we could get the screen a bit bigger and 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 do that for you. But um, I, I think we could see that perfect uh, work of art. Just describe what you've actually what 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 is the actual painting of though? If you could kind of if because maybe people haven't got such a, a clear image on their computer. Sorry. So it's very it, it's a very instinctive piece, and um, I actually painted. I don't know whether you could see that. I've got paint in my hair because I was really getting into it. Um, I was going in flow with the uh, music. So I did feel the river, but at the same time, I in my head, I had a landscape, a autumnal sort of landscape. Um, and I really wanted to get this olive green. For some reason, olive came into my head. Um, so um, that sort of very peaceful duck egg blue stroke um olive color came into my head very peaceful very peaceful and that's my peaceful place well it was certainly peaceful listening were they were there particular pieces of music that you picked thomas for for this particular uh, demonstration or was it something you just kind of you just rifted with it yourself uh yeah it was pieces i chose the pieces um mainly uh very peaceful pieces because it's such a crazy time so uh, yes pieces that are very tranquil um a lot of them were to do with nature so to do with rivers yes so so i found that fascinating to see that painting happening uh but they're, yeah they're just Ooh. some of my favorite pieces really <laughs> no it's absolutely fantastic guys if we have got time for a few more questions if you want to pop them in the chat but i'll just quickly ask you francis how did you get started how did you what was your first sort of your your dalliance into into uh, the uh, the art world what did you how did you get started I was born into the art world. All, all my family in, are in the art world. So I just I just painted through my life, really. I, I can't remember the time I first started. So, um, yeah, that's that's it, really. Yeah, fine. Okay. No, fair enough. Uh, so your mum, your your parents, your your their parents? How, how, yes, how did you go back? And so they are all in the scenery, like a film industry television industry painting they're doing making uh television sets and doing the backdrops for film and television and designing them my mother's a set designer and my father made the sets so i i, I actually grew up in doing scenery literally scenery <laughs> fantastic so when they were doing their work you would uh, even as a as a young girl would you go along and accompany them help them out yeah, absolutely. So I painted on big backdrops um, when I was a teenager. I'd just sit and watch my parents work and draw. Um, so that's that's. I'm the... very proud of you now, seeing seeing what you do now. I hope so. Good. And what? Where else can people see your work? Because I know we've put some links in the chat there, but can you just kind of give a bit more information to people? Uh, so I'm. I really am passionate about spreading the word about how the healing power of art, like you were saying, Thomas, about how peaceful we all need peace at the moment. So I'm trying to spread the word with that. So if you look up Creative Minds Consultancy, um, you will find um, links to. Um, well-being and using the arts through well-being and helping young people particularly through this difficult time do you think well, i mean we're all uh locked down in, in a you know something in a weird way happen. yes did, yeah did, that, did your art help you get through that that difficult time yes so i painted a painting every day so i did a hundred days in lockdown i did a miniature um which were that big i haven't got one on me like should do, shouldn't I? I'm not very organised. But um, this size, two and a half inches by three and a half inches. Um, and um, I painted a painting every day, which really helped me. And I posted it on my my school website and um, Instagram um, and hopefully spread the word of just like being in nature and painting because that's the way to go. <laughs> that's how I feel. Yeah. And what, what about you, Thomas? Did your music help? Uh, you and other people through through this difficult time that we've all been going through recently? Yeah, I think it's, you know, it's just very peaceful to come and play. It's very meditative and um, you can just kind of forget about the outside world and just, you know, enjoy the music and 
it's been a bit, I, I've been playing so much and actually in the lockdown I, I had time to learn some pieces that I'm normally too busy to you know to learn some of my favorite pieces so it was nice to actually sort of play for fun more than playing for work which is what I normally do yes. which was nice yeah no totally and do you feel the same Francis did you oh, did have more time to do that I I loved it <laughs> I really loved it. And I love sharing the love for art with other people. Any age loved it. It was it for me to pass on that when every, like I was struggling, everyone was struggling, I felt. And to be able to share a bit of that piece was really important. And I hope that can carry on today. And everyone's going to pick up a paintbrush now and paint. <laughs> Wonderful. No, I totally agree with you. I think it's a fantastic way of kind of uh, de almost escaping this craziness that's going on outside the world and just kind of just just going into your own world with that lovely music and and just 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 going with it. Maybe we should send Thomas to the House of Parliament and just to just play yes. outside and Yay. maybe things will calm down in there. Maybe they'll make some correct decisions and start to <laughs> a bit better. Yes. I mean, I don't know whether you feel like that, do you? <laughs> What do you think, Thomas? Uh, actually, well, I did play, I played at a wedding at the Houses of Parliament once. So I didn't know that you can get married there. So I did play there once and getting the heart through security is something that I will never want to do again. Because they they literally, they were looking all inside the harp and like check, I had to unpack it all. And, oh you know, my yeah. word. Yeah, so it was a bit of a stress. <laughs> I can imagine, yeah, booking you for big events. Yeah, you obviously you must have a big van or something that kind of <laughs> takes that around. Yeah, big car. Yeah. I, I just saw a question from Helen about how the art curriculum can change. Oh, okay. Is that right? Question. Yeah, let's answer that one to finish off. Then. Um, yes, I agree. I totally um, agree with the uh, the process of art and how arts can heal children even though you know it's not always about the product at the end of the day it's about the process and we are as teachers you, you are uh, very privileged to be in that place where you can help the young people be in that moment and just be in that moment which I feel is very important in the process of painting using by the way I'm sorry about saying about paintbrush you can use your hands look very cool um, so yeah, it's, <laughs> I really believe in that. That you can you can put that into the curriculum, definitely. Brilliant, a fantastic answer. Totally agree. I'm sure everybody watching will totally agree with you as well. Uh, thank you, guys. That was pretty incredible uh, and a great way to start the show today. So thank you to Francis. Thank you very much. You can go wash your hands now. Um, <laughs> and thank you to Thomas as well. Thank you, guys. That was a great way. Uh, to start the show thank you and thanks to everybody for their comments and questions and if you look at the chat box right now there is a link to uh look at more of uh, francis's work and francis just quickly you what you were saying about that painting people can actually get their hands on it they can get their hands on it and um 80 hands yeah and if 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 people would like to buy it get in contact with teams i think it's like the team of uh, contemporary art and um, yeah, absolutely, I'd love to raise money for the young people that are struggling to get into employment. Um, so, you know, young people are struggling at the moment and I really want to, I can't give money, but what I can give is my art and that's really important. Thank you, Paul. No worries, thank you guys. Thank you very much thank for that. Thomas. Well, lovely to meet you. Yes, thank you guys, brilliant stuff. Oh, we look forward yeah, to, nice to in the flash at some point when we get over this crazy time. But thank you very much. Oh, right, on with the show. You. And we've got lots to pack in. Thank you. <laughs> we've got lots to pack in uh, today. Um, and we've got a, another dual performance. But one of them is pre-recorded because uh, Alison Saunders was very keen to be involved uh, today. But unfortunately, Alison uh, couldn't make it. So what we said was we would record, pre-record, her performance and she will be painting for us which is fantastic um, and we need some more fantastic music some incredible inspiring music almost completely different we've got uh slav here hi slav hello how you doing hi. good thank you so you are hi. slav on sax that is your full title yes yeah, slav on sax i play the saxophone i'm gonna play a few jazz standards 
Great stuff. So you're going to play, and this time it's not being inspired because we have pre-recorded it, but I think it's going to be fantastic. So Alison Saunders uh, will be painting for us, and you will be playing. Okay, take it away, guys. Hello, my name's Alison, and I've been asked to demonstrate one of the techniques that I use in, in my artwork, and that involves using um, ink and pen, water, uh, and I use um, Saunders Waterford uh, watercolour paper, um, and I use a variety of different inks, um, I've got Liquitex, uh, FW, uh, uh, Dr Martins, um, all sorts of different things. So, and then I use an air gun. And for the purposes of this today, I'm using air in a can. It's just easier than getting the air gun out. Um, and if you want to have a go at this technique, it's easy for you to, to buy air in a can yourselves. So um, I have prepared some different stages because this happens in different layers. So I've got a few later stages because you can, you can only work on it to a certain extent when it's wet and then you have to let it dry and then you have to put the next layer on. So, Let's start by putting down the first layer. So this, for me, is the fun bit, because I absolutely love colour, and it's using the colours. Thank <laughs> you. 
you can spend as little or as much time as you like on it. Um, but I quite often will get to this stage, put it to one side, wait and see what I think about it in a, in a, a little bit later. Um, that, that gives you an idea of what I do. I hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you very much. Well, we do hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you very much to Alison uh, Saunders there. Uh, and of course, thank you to uh, Slav on sax. Thank you, Slav. I know you've got your mic muted, but thank you very much, uh, buddy. That was incredible uh, and just made great music to uh, watch that painting come alive. Thank you very much, Slav. Great work. Well, what an interesting afternoon we're having. We do hope you're in there enjoying yourselves there. Now, also, every year, um, Contemporary Arts has been involved with a charity since 2005, in fact. The Prince's Trust has worked closely uh, with the Contemporary Arts Fairs in the south of England. Now joining us should be Laura. Uh, is Laura there from the, the Princess Trust? Oh, Laura can't make it, but we do have this recorded message from uh, Laura to tell you a little bit more about this incredible charity. And afterwards, we'll tell you how you can get hold of those miniature works of art. Hi everyone, my name is Laura and I work at the Prince's Trust as the Head of Corporate Partnerships and it's an absolute pleasure to say hello to all of you today attending the Virtual Art Fair. I hope you're all having a really great time um, and great to see the event being brought online. And um, These incredible art fairs have been supporting the Prince's Trust since 2005 so it's a real pleasure to be able to speak to you all virtually today. Um, for those of you that haven't heard um, about the Prince's Trust before and don't know what we do, we are the UK's leading youth charity and we support young people across the country um, to gain confidence, get back into employment um, and to finish their education as well. We work with a lot of young people across the UK that are dealing with mental health challenges, unemployment long term usually, uh, struggling to finish school and um, that have difficult family backgrounds, maybe have been homeless or are involved with the law as well. Um, and we give them the skills and confidence that they need to take that next step in life. As you guys all know, this year has been unprecedented and we felt it too here at the Prince's Trust, not only as a charity, but we've seen it um, reflected in the young people that we support as well. Um, out there, they're feeling the anxiety. Uh, they're worried about their job prospects and their future. Um, and a recent survey and research that we've carried out has showed that 55% of young people are very fearful for their future and are feeling anxiety off the back of that. So we know that we play a massive role this year and next year in supporting unemployed young people across the UK. And so we've been adapting to ensure that we can help all of those young people. We've gone online, for instance, with our programmes and our support. Our youth workers are supporting young people on one-to-one -one sessions like this online virtually. Um, and we're running our programmes with employers this way as well. We launched our COVID response fund as well to raise money to support the organisation in this new phase that we're experiencing. And all the time we are listening to the young people out there and adapting to provide them with what they need to stay in employment, to stay positive during such a difficult year. Here at the Prince's Trust, we can't do that sort of work without fantastic supporters out there that keep us going. And since the art fair has been supporting the Prince's Trust, the fantastic artists that have been donating their canvases has sold 2,000 500 pieces of artwork, raising an incredible £85,000 for the Prince's Trust. So if you're one of those artists listening today that has donated a canvas in the past, we cannot thank you enough. Collectively, that £85,000 will have changed so many lives. And so thank you for supporting us. And if you're listening and you've bought one of those canvases before, I hope it's hung in a pride of place position in your house. And every time you look at it, you can know that from buying that piece of artwork, you are also changing young lives across the UK. So a big thank you to the Art Fair for all of your support of years. If you're attending the art fair today, then and hopefully you're looking some, for some fantastic artwork to take home, um, make sure you head over to the online gallery, which has canvases that you can purchase to support the Prince's Trust. 
I think they're around £50 and £50 could pay for an online counselling session for a young person where one of our youth workers jumps online, gives them someone to talk to and someone who'll listen to them and give them that positivity and the next steps that they need to um, turn their lives around in such a difficult year. So from purchasing one of those canvases, there is a young person out there that will massively benefit from you taking that step. Alternatively, if you'd really like to support the Prince's Trust in this difficult year, um, but maybe the artwork isn't for you, then please do get in contact with the organisers and we'd love to take a donation. Um, or you can go over to our website and donate to our Coronavirus Response Fund as well. So lastly from me, I just want to say a massive thank you to everyone at the Art Fair over the years that has supported the Prince's Trust. We really value your support and we love to hear how you get on every year and we are so excited that the Art Fair is still going ahead this way. And so from on behalf of the one million young people that we have supported over the past 40 years here at the Prince's Trust and all of the young people that we, um, that we will support this year online in such a difficult time we just wanted to say a big thank you we really appreciate your support and um, if you can support us today that would be fantastic and have a great time I can't wait to come to the next art fair in person and thank you all personally so have a great day stay safe and thanks from the Prince's Trust. Thank you Laura there from uh, the Prince's Trust and as you said, £85,000. It's certainly not a small amount of money. Uh, we thank each and every one of you um, who have been involved in that. But if you'd like to get your hands on one of those miniature paintings, uh, Laura was right. They are £50 and you can get them at the website, across on the website. Um, and be aware that you've only got till four o'clock tomorrow, that's Sunday, uh, to get your hands on one of those. And all of that money does go to the Princess Trust charity. As I said, such a fantastic charity to be supporting. I myself have been involved with them in the past and they do some incredible work. Okay, on with the show. And boy, has it been a fantastic afternoon. And once again, I'd like to thank you all for taking part. Um, if you do look at the chat box as well, um, you can have a link there. There's a link that goes, will take you straight to that uh, those paintings. Uh, for just £50 each, all of the money from the painting sold will go to the Prince's Trust. Just click on the link, have a look at the, the miniature works of art or miniature paintings, um, and you really will have something special in your home, uh, or maybe a gift. Christmas just around the corner, scary times, but it is. Uh, it might make a lovely gift for somebody as well. And all the money, as I said, does go to the Prince's Trust. Right, on with the show, I think we'll say. So uh, we have got, um, I think we've got a bit of an interval now, in fact, but while this interval is going on, we do have something for you. So you've got about 10 minutes just to maybe grab a, boil the kettle, grab a cup of tea, grab a cup of coffee, uh, something stronger if you require. Um, and while that's going on, we're not just going to leave you with uh, nothing. Oh, no, no. We have got Kerry Edwards, and she is going to be painting something very special. This is going to take about 10 minutes, so you can watch if you like. Uh, but as I said, this will be a little chance to have a bit of a break. So this is going to be 10 minutes, and then we will be back with lovely Hudson, who I believe is just getting ready. I've just seen her in a square getting ready uh, to perform for you uh, with Frank uh, Pretorius, who will be painting. So uh, that's pre-recorded. So the painting is pre-recorded, but lovely Hudson will be singing uh, live. I can't wait for that. Um, so do join us in about 10 minutes time. But I do believe right now we can have a little uh, look at this. This is Kerry Edwards painting a barn owl. And this was pre-recorded for you, but as I say, I'll just give you a bit of a 10 minute break. We'll see you in a bit.
absolutely incredible I'm sure watching that was just just wonderful just to see an artist at work and hopefully you've uh, uh, refreshed and you're back with us uh, a little 10 minute break there um, and welcome back and if you have just joined us welcome along I hope you uh, if you have just joined us you missed uh, lots of fantastic uh, performances but don't worry there's still lots more to come don't you worry about that and right now we are joined by I hope we can make our square live uh, lovely Hudson are you there lovely Hudson yes I'm here Hi. hello how are you today great thanks and you good 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 so you're going to be performing and we've also got um, artist Frank Pretorius now that's been pre-recorded so you're going to sing along to the pre-recorded performance but let's have a quick chat uh, just tell us a bit about where you normally perform obviously things are very different at the moment but where yes. do you normally perform lovely where can people well, normally see you well I used to um, perform um, with different events like maybe funeral weddings or like just um, private parties sort like that but it's totally different now because of what's happening yeah but it's great that you can still perform online and entertain people and we can still hear you know that the quality in your voice and everything like that which is great if people are uh listening from all over the world because we've got people watching from all over the world today so no pressure lovely no pressure no pressure uh, <laughs> are you ready to go yes great stuff well uh, i will introduce you so here is a lovely hudson who is singing uh, along to our artist which is frank Pretorius, who is painting i hope you're going to enjoy it Hello guys, uh, my name is Frank Pretorius and I'm doing a demonstration with oil paint. I'm going to try to do a, a portrait in mono colors, so I'm going to focus on tones. Uh, let's see if I can do it in 20 minutes. It's a, it's a bit of a challenge, so I've, I've mixed some, uh, I've mixed some paint beforehand and I've prepared a canvas, so let's see if I can do this in 20 minutes. This is quite a challenge. Thank you. 
to give a song for Miss Diana Crow. Right. 
miss me Fill my life with song Let me sing forevermore You are all I long for All I worship and adore In other words Please be true In other words Love you. Sunshine when she's gone It's 
Fantastic. I made sure we heard it to the very end. I wasn't going to interrupt and spoil that fantastic performance. Thank you, lovely Hudson. That was incredible. Oh, she oh you're welcome. Very good. I do believe <laughs> Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed it. We did enjoy it. Thank you very much. And I do Thank believe you. that you are back with us, aren't you? You're coming back in a bit. We're going to have a... Uh, Hannah's going to come along and have a little chat with us, Hannah Bruce. And then you're going to come back and sing a bit later on. Definitely. I'll you be seeing you a bit later. What's that? You drink, you know, lubricate your uh, vocal cords. Yes, sure. thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Fabulous. Well, I hope you're having a fantastic afternoon. I know I am. But don't forget, though, guys, to go onto the website, the online uh, fair, where you can purchase lots of works of art. Uh, of course, you can purchase those uh, mini miniature paintings around fifty pounds, and all the money goes to the Princess Trust. There's loads of other things on there, but remember, you've only got till Sunday. Uh, till 4 p.m. to get involved with that and make sure that you do. And also, there is a link in the chats to go there right now and have a look. Well, maybe not right now, because then you'd miss the talk from our lovely Hannah Bruce. Hi, Hannah. How are you? Hello. I'm very good, thank you. Yeah. Good. Be good. So, Hannah, what are we going to be talking about for the next uh, half hour? What are we going to talk about? So, we have got two paintings, or I have got two paintings to show you. Um, I felt that 30 minutes, unlike uh, our previous uh, artist's amazing piece of work in 20 minutes, um, I felt that was a bit short. So we've got two talks about two paintings and I'll go eight minutes um, with the talk and then two videos of a minute each of how I made them. And then another eight minutes of an, the other painting, the second painting. And then I think we do a question and answer, don't we? For Brilliant. Yeah, yeah. So I was just going to say, if anybody's got any questions for Hannah, please put them into the chat there. Uh, any questions about anything that you're talking about throughout the half hour? And then you'll answer them at the end, towards the end of the half hour. Is that right, Hannah? That's right. Yeah, that's the aim. You'll have to um, stop me at 25 minutes because I can talk a lot. <laughs> That's fine. I'm sure everybody will be fascinated on what you've got to say. Hannah, I'm going to leave it all up to you. Uh, please uh, welcome our guest, Hannah Bruce. Thank you very much. OK, I'm just going to get that full screen. Right. Um, hi, everybody. Thank you very much for coming. And um, I'm hoping that this is going to be um, really useful for you all. Um, this is actually one of the few Zoom meetings I've actually done and taken part in so you'll have to forgive me on um, any issues we might have hopefully you can see it um behind you i have got um my painting of coins and i'm looking at that and thinking that's pretty good but i'll put some light on there we go but extra light um why did i paint coins is probably going to be the first question you might ask I was really interested in a shine in artwork and um, I like repeated forms. I like to show things cr heavily cropped. Um, and I was thinking about, well, what objects do we um, have in our lives that are um, around us all the time? And I do a lot of knife, fork and spoon paintings. And I decided that coins would be a really good place to go. Um, also, I was thinking about um, these particular coins. I'm quite interested in 1920s and 30s and these particular coins. Um, 
were minted in 2016 to 2018. So we've only got a two year period. And so they really are a mark of the time and the era. And especially now is probably we're using more cards and less cash. You know, are we seeing the demise of the, the coins in our wallets? Are we are we going to still be exchanging money? Um, so it kind of becomes more and more relevant. And um, so that's the background behind it. So um, in terms of your seeing a bit more clearly, I'm going to pull you a bit closer because you can actually see probably the details of the painting a bit more. It's a one by one meter painting um, and the coins, I suppose, are about five to six inches wide. Um, I took the photograph myself and I was really interested in um, light and shade. Obviously, with you want to get capture a good contrast of light and shade when you are doing a painting like this. So you need a good image. I tend to use photography for my work. I really liked the fact that this um, coin had this bright brightness about it and that I tried to create in the composition a kind of sweeping circle that goes around. So you may not be able to see it, but this should be the point in which you're drawn to first. But then if you lead your eye around, it kind of goes around in a circle and leading back to that point there, which is um, in a nutshell, golden section, golden rule. Um, in terms of coloring, I will show you a film in a minute of a time lapse of captured stills, which show you how I painted it. It was painted over a period of three months um, and you will see snow in the background. You'll also see where I turn, I, I got too cold in my conservatory and I went in my kitchen. I turned the painting upside down and I'm looking to see if there's any errors in it. One of the awkward things about this um, was that the new pound coin has got all of these flat edges to it. It's no longer a circle, which would have been the easier coin to choose. Um, but these flat, flat edges all the way around, they cause me quite a lot of grief in drawing it out. And you have to have this drawing or a drawing like this as per perfect as possible before you start painting. Okay, uh, shine, doing the shine. Okay, so key pop concepts. Um, the the golds, the browns, the yellows, the um, ochres and the red, um, Indian red type colours, they are the ones that I started with. They, um, I had a gold background, keeping a mid-tone background before I started so that I could build up um, the darks and the lights and three at least mid-tones for each section. So here you've got different mid-tones. As I said, I'll go back to two thirds of it is painted in the warms, the ochres, the earth tones. And then a third of it, about a third of it is co the contrasting color, the blues, which are quite surprising but obviously you've got this silver aspect in the middle and the center. Every single coin is different colors. Um, they're none of them were the same, which made it really hard work. And I must admit that when I was painting it, I would start over here and I would probably deal with two, three shades or of an orange and brown. And I would go about that far with it and then I'd stop. So each still you see in the film is usually between one and four hours. Of, of continuous work and then I would go down here and I'd do the same and I'm trying to tie uh, the colours that I choose across the whole painting before I move to the next colour well that's the idea anyway that's the theory but I get quite it's quite um you've got to keep your interest going so sometimes you want to do a different colour um I'm trying to look at the time a bit now and I'm thinking um maybe it's time to just snap to that video to show you how it's made now I've done a bit of talking um, so let me do that it's it's about a minute long bear with it um, because I had to move the painting it's at home so I had to move the painting around the stills are sometimes vary in size rather than um, capturing it in a time lapse that's fixed so I will show you now After this um, film, I'm thinking it's best to show you the next one for the next painting I'm going to talk about.
Uh, or maybe I'll summarise from this film. I don't know. We'll have a look. OK, I'm hoping you can see this. Okay, I'm hoping you can hear me again. Uh, and I, um, in that film, I've realised that I did my blues, some of my blues first, but um, it would be in my normal habit to do the others. But it's like a jigsaw. You've got to map it out first before you take on your um, natural way of working. So because it's such a jigsaw puzzle with all these edges and everything, um, the other thing to consider is your darks and your lights. So once I've done a lot of mid-tones, um, the darks start to get darker as you progress through the film. And I use blue-black, um, and sometimes I'll put alizarin crimson into it to, to give those uh, shadows more depth, or I might add, add ultramarine to make them cooler. Uh, alizarin is a cool red, but it can add slight warmth to those, those shadows. And um, my highlights, they're never, they're never white, and I'm going to come back to... Um, I'm going to just turn that up. I'm going to come back to that. So highlights if you do them titanium white it kind of kills it you need some color tiny hints of color in there so i've got a lot of warm whites going on in this painting and i'm, I'm using a lot of michael harding's paints um as well as others i i kind of mix it up um so that's probably enough about this one and i'm just going to briefly um step over to i'm just looking at the time um to my other painting um, I'll show you the film now, the time lapse, and then I'll snap to the painting and chat about that. But that's about, a, it's going to be about a wave um, painting that I've done and I finished at the beginning of lockdown. Okay, so, screen share. I think this is the one. No, that's not it. Oh, wait a minute. No, bear with me. Probably have to close that movie and find my other.
Hello, while you're doing that, I just I just wanted while you're fiddling about, I just read some. Oh, the- sorry, can you still see me, by the way? Because I just lost my screen. We can see you fine. Um oh, good. has just said, Hi Hannah, love the coin video, magnificent work. Thank you. She said she love it without the frame. Oh, right. Yes. It's normally without a frame. And there we go. I'm about to start this film. Um, agreed. It, this would be a fantastic picture without the frame. I'm, um, it has already sold and the customer wants it framed. So um, that is why I've since done a frame for it. Um, but it is quite a striking piece on its own. I agreed because of the cropped edges of the image. Definitely. Are you still there? Okay. Can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you fine, Anna. All good. Right, I'm going to start this. Um, I'm going to start this film now, and then I will get the painting up. Uh, let me know if you can see it. While you do that, also, if, if anybody's got any questions uh, for Hannah, do pop them into the chat box and we can answer them um, at the end of this section. I'm just going to say it, how, uh, Hannah. Wow, that's incredible. Okay, now one of the difficulties I have, there we go, we got you back now. Okay. Um, Technicals, eh? I need to undo the screen share. Where's that? Can you see me now? We can see you, Hannah, no problem. So did you see the film of the painting that I was sharing? We haven't seen the video yet. The video didn't play. Oh, I'm really sorry. I thought it was while I was faffing around. (laughs) (laughs) Technicals, I'm really sorry. I had it running in the background and I thought you could see it. So that's why I was all quiet for a bit. Okay, I'll show that at the end maybe. Um, But uh, yeah, so this painting here is... um, obviously a wave painting and to get the shine in it one of the emphasis is um, the different shades of blue um, I start off with a mid-tone again a mid-tone blue kind of like somewhere in the middle here over the whole canvas and then in fact you can see it up here look that blue there and then I focus on the blues and what I consider to and this area which I consider to be the almost the background before the um before I do all this foam on top so no white goes on there at all in the film you'll see that in a minute so I'm going to speed up my talking now um you've also got layer on layer of the blues to give a sense of depth with the oil paints um then in here you had a mid-tone and I put a dark behind and imagining what comes forward um, so the last stages with this one was a palette knife painting. So sorry about earlier, but um, it's a palette knife painting like this one, if you can see. It's kind of a standard. It's also very bent because I use it quite a lot. And you, ca- I'm kind of scraping with that and making my mark making all over. Um, and then over here, um, I... And then using a different tool to mark. So here it's more of a scrape. And then over here, I'm trying to lose it very loosely and, and get this kind of um, 
this texture here and also that kind of shimmer that kind of shine that comes from um, when I come to do the white now the white is never pure white um, here it's kind of purples and greys and I do those underneath the whole of the background where the foam is so I can get that sense of depth and then I add that warm white um, very hints of pink which I don't think you can see in this light now but you've got um, over here you've got purples and lilacs and then it goes into these kind of very subtle whites with with hints of color you know the sort you can get for your walls if you know what i mean um the different sorts of white you never knew there were so many types of white um and then and then that kind of finishes off so the more layers of this foam that i do with light scrapings i let it dry and then i go back and the more it looks like foam so i'm hoping that's good and then any questions in a minute but I'll share my screen now so you can see the film when I can get that up. Give me a second. Um, okay. Just while you're doing that, Hannah, uh, we got Barbara. I think you answered the question there. She says, great work. Can you say a bit more about how you highlight without using pure white? Yes. Okay. So one really um, good cheats way is to buy your paints ready done. Um, I have got this warm white and actually I haven't got one here because I've run out, um, but a warm white. So it's a pigment that's already got that color in it. Or you can use, see titanium is quite cold. Um, you could use a mixing white and you could add in a tiny hint of Indian yellow, the tiniest little tiny bit and it, it completely warms it up. Um, and there's other, there's other kind of yellows and it tends to be the kind of Indian reds that, and Indian yellows, the kind of colors that are so strong when you put them on, you don't use them. Um, if you put those with your whites, then you'll get those shades that you want. Naphthol crimson, a tiny, tiny bit of that with uh, titanium is okay. It warms it up that's okay um and and sometimes i'll even make my own um colors color bases and pigments so i'm you know i've got one here which i've made and i've got this pink that i've made because you know um i i want set colors quite a lot of the time so i've i've been busy making um now that i've had the opportunity to do so hope that helps and let's share the screen share it up and there we go so hopefully you can see this Okay, so that was that one there is, um, I think we can do questions now. Okay, are we ready to do questions? I think we've pretty much answered all the questions there, Hannah. I don't know if there's anything else you wanted to say. Uh, um, I think uh, it was probably all said. I'm sorry about that bit in the middle, but uh, we got there. So, um, yeah. I'm pleased with that and hopefully everyone got something from it. Um, just looking at my notes now, see if there's anything else. I've just put, don't rush. 
<laughs> and build up the foam layers uh, in as much depth as you do your blues and your sweeping um, blue colours. Um, yeah, I think that's about covered it. Brilliant. Thank you very much, Hannah. That was fantastic. We had a few technicals, but come on, this, we've never done this before. And it's certainly a different way. I'm sure normally you would stand in front of a room of people that would have lots of questions and, yeah. uh, and be asking, interrupting your entire time you're doing it. So oh, I do love it, so it's all yeah, right. <laughs> exactly. So that, and I thought, well, while we're having a few technicals, I'd jump in with some questions. So That's a really good idea. Thank it you. Made and, for, it yeah. made for an interesting half hour. Thank you very much, Hannah. Uh, fabulous uh, seeing us. Hopefully soon we can see you um, in, in the flesh when all things really have changed. So in the new year sometime at one of these uh, fairs, I'll be there. Okay. fantastic we look forward to that thank you hannah thanks again thank and of course as i say if you want more information do keep checking out the website find out when these events are happening and uh, we have got another virtual uh, one coming up very uh when i say virtual i mean live uh, events like this on zoom uh, coming up very shortly keep an eye on the website for that but right now we are coming towards the end of the hour before i bring on off uh, artist i do want to mention of course the online fair so if you go to the online fair you can now uh, hannah's disappeared thanks hannah um you could go to the online fair where you can purchase uh, incredible works of art there's so many interesting things on there uh, during one of the breaks i did sort of click on and have a look at what's there also don't forget the miniature paintings at 50 pounds and all of that money goes to the princess uh, trust so if you're looking for a unique piece of art uh, for your collection and of course Artists are struggling at the moment. It's a tough time for, for all performers everywhere. So this is a great way of supporting the arts by getting involved and maybe purchasing something uh, off the website. But be warned, you've only got till four o'clock on Sunday to do that. And that's when we won't be able to buy any of the pieces on the fair. Also, you can click on the links in the chat uh, there as well. It'll take you straight to the website and you can have a look at some of those paintings. And of course, the painting that we uh, that was created earlier live for you right at the top of the hour, uh, top of the show, we, that will be available at some point as well to raise some money as well. But right now I can see lovely uh, Hudson has arrived uh, in her square. This is very odd, but, but in our, her square, wherever she is. Where are you in the world, uh, lovely Hudson? Where are you? Oh, you mean like, where am I? Like, where are you? Where am I? I'm in London, lovely. North London. Yeah. So I'm so happy to be part of this, actually, because I normally do Facebook Live. And yeah. this is my first time. And thank you so much for inviting me. It's been an absolute pleasure. Your voice is just incredible. And, and I would say we've got our speakers here in the studio and they, you just sound incredible. I'm sure we had some lovely comments and everything, so it's fantastic. But again, you. you will be singing along to um, our artist, uh, Frank Pretorius. He'll be painting yes. um, as well. So you're getting best of both worlds. You're seeing some fantastic art and hearing an incredible voice. So once again, please welcome uh, lovely Hudson, who will be uh, accompanying Frank Pretorius. Thank you.
Bésame mucho Como se fuera esta noche La última vez Bésame Bésame mucho Que tengo miedo Perderte Perderte después Bésame Bésame mucho Como se fuera esta noche la Última vez Bésame Bésame mucho Que tengo miedo Perderte Perderte después Quiero sentir muy cerca mirarme en tus ojos verte junto a mí piensa que tal vez mañana yo estaré lejos muy lejos de ti Bésame mucho Como se fuera esta noche La última vez Bésame Bésame mucho Que tengo miedo Perderte Perderte después Quiero sentirte muy cerca, mirarme en tus ojos, verte junto a mí. Piensa que tal vez mañana yo estaré lejos, muy lejos de ti. Bésame, bésame mucho Como se si fuera esta noche la última vez Bésame, bésame mucho Que tengo miedo Perderte, perderte después
Well, it's a marvelous night for Mindens With the stars up above in your eyes A fantabulous night to make Romans Need the cover of October skies And all the leaves, all the trees are falling To the sound of the breezes that blow And I'm trying to please to the calling of your heartstrings that play soft and low And all the night's magic seems to whisper and hush And all the soft moonlight seems to shine In a blush, can I just have a moment dance with you, my love? Can't wait till the morning has come And I know not that time is just right And straight into your arms you will run And when you come my heart will be waiting To make sure that you're never alone There and then all my dreams will come true dear There and then I will make you my own And every time I touch you you just tremble You can try, can I just have a moment dance with you, my love? Can I just make some more romance with you, my love? I've learned a lot, but uh, keep on painting, keep on working, uh, doing your best, and keep on learning, keep on trying. Uh, if it doesn't work, I don't put it If it doesn't work, it doesn't matter. You've learned a lot, and that's what counts. Have a good one. Cheers, guys. Bye. Uh, Frank Pretorius there. Thank you very much, Frank, for pre recording that for us uh, for this incredible event. And uh, Valerie has summed this up beautifully, saying, lovely great singer look at that thank you very much uh, valerie and everybody that's tuned in and thank you very much lovely hudson thank you thank you thank you so much and it's a great honor to be part of your event thank you so much our absolute pleasure we hope you will attend again and uh let's hope that you know the arts are back and we're all out performing again soon and bringing out live entertainment but it's wonderful that we can just forget about that for a, a couple of hours and enjoy great music and great entertainment thank you lovely it's been fantastic thank you bye lovely stuff. thank you and bye-bye well i'm afraid that is all we got time for i would like to say a big thank you to everybody involved in the contemporary uh, art fairs um, and I hope you've enjoyed yourself. Thank you to everybody that's uh, tuned in, all the attendees that have tuned in from across the world. We had people at the very start of the show that saying they were uh, from far off climbs and they'd uh, joined us. So we thank you for that. We hope you've been thoroughly entertained. We'd love to know your feedback. We'd love to know what you thought of the show. We hope that you will join us again. Martin Key has just quickly typed Thank you so much. Terrific show. Thank you, Martin. Thank you for your comments earlier about me. That was very kind. Um, also, uh, the Windsor Fair. Well, there is a Windsor Fair. Whether we will be real or whether we will be here online again, probably here online again. Uh, but stay tuned to the social medias uh, for more updates. Uh, if you check out Instagram, Contemporary Art Fairs, that's Contemporary Art Fairs. If you follow them on Instagram, they'll keep you updated when that is happening. And also on Facebook, Contemporary 
art fairs as well. So contemporary art fairs. If you uh, search that on Facebook or Instagram, you won't miss anything. I promise you there. Also, Valerie has said, thank you, Paul, for a great afternoon and for enlarging the screenshots. No problem, Valerie. That's what we're here to do to enlarge those screenshots. I would like to say thank you to our sponsor, Loxley Arts. That's uh, Loxley Arts. Thank you very much uh, to our sponsor, Loxley Arts. And to thank all the artists and performers, not just on today's show, uh, throughout the week that have performed uh, for us, we thank you very much. We know it's a tough time at the moment for all artists and performers, and we just hope and pray that in the future we're in a much better position. But thank you very much for uh, enjoying the show today with us. I hope you've enjoyed the last couple of hours. I've been Paul Metcalf, your host, and on behalf of all the team here, and I do mean all the team from Contemporary Art Fairs, we hope you enjoy the rest of your day, and we hope to see you all again very, very soon. Bye-bye.